Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. Let's begin and just keep in mind that this is a general reading. See what comes through today. And if this doesn't resonate, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. These readings are timeless. Uh, this there's something very unique here i see that there's a karmic person here who is willingly willingly stepping stepping it's like they they are accepting a an end to a cycle it's like they're accepting some kind of end um i see that they're not going to feel like they're not going to debate or they're not going to question it this is something about surrendering to to this this change it's like they see themselves as i don't think i can do anything more to to make this work or to restore this is a karmic person who's surrendered it's like they let go of this divine masculine here this is something following a long, like something has been dragged out for a long time. And I feel like this person may have tried everything to, to keep it going. So now that it's come to this place where it's clearly that it's like, it's clear that there is no hope in the situation. This karmic person is like, yeah, I don't see what else I can do. Because I feel like this this person is quite tired themselves here. It's like they they are seeing it with they're accepting the reality of the situation. I see here looking at it as like the situation as like, yeah, this is not working. This is not going to work. There's something about um, this karmic person is going to say this through a conversation, phone conversation, to Divine Masculine. Again, I see a karmic person here. This is somebody who really was standing up for what they wanted. I see here that they were kind of like... Um, This karmic person, divine feminine, these two, they, they did interact. Like, I mean, like they did have some kind of interaction where there was a lot of disagreements. Like, like um, I see here just always like bumping heads, kind of like they're not, they don't get along. And I feel like whatever the situation is, there was no choice but to meet each other or to see it, each other. So just take as it resonates, whoever this resonates for. You may understand what I'm saying here, but it looks like that there was no choice for these two because they had to see each other for whatever reason. There's something there that shows that they were constantly in communication and they were always in some sort of disagreement. I do see Divine Feminine here. There were times where you walked away from a situation or you didn't want to engage in some kind of disagreement, argument with this person. So you walked away. You were always the one who walked away or, or left or, or because you wanted to avoid. I see you're avoiding um, some kind of conversation with this person. It's like you, you had to meet this person for something specific or to talk to them about something specific. It, it could be even like something having to do with responsibility or duty. I'm not sure what it is, but I see here that there were times where you just went, you said what you need to say or you or did what you you had to do and then you leave. Like you don't stay that long. And 
it, it may have to do with your family. I am not sure. So I do see something about Divine Feminine. Sometimes the interactions with this uh, this karmic person, it took you off guard. Sometimes they were very, very nice, like friendly, polite. But you always question that. You always question, like, why are they nice or why are they talking nice to me today or why are they so caring all of a sudden it's like you always had you always had your guard up you you it was like you have a radar like you you always knew um not to ex not to accept what is there what is there at that time or what's what is in front of you it's like you always try to see the bigger picture or you always try to to analyze or figure out um, certain things about this this situation or the way things are shared or expressed or what they meant or what they said something like that but I do see there's a lot of interaction here in this reading this is a very unique reading there's something about interaction between this karmic person and divine feminine so it's like you two had no choice but to be in each other's life there's some reason for it there's something about a responsibility something in common where where you had no choice but to talk, you had to communicate, even if it's for a moment, even it's just for the word check in came and you to check in on something to check check up on something, something like that. So moving on in this reading, let's see what else is here. Something about a home, even like when it comes to the house, I see the house is full. Like there's people, there's there's family members. So this this living environment, it's quite busy, but there's always like traffic, like people coming, going, coming, going. Um, I see that at times it seems loving, but at times it's not as it appears to be. And something about somebody taking a trip or leaving that home to take a trip. So coming back to the beginning of the reading where I mentioned this karmic person is like walking away or, or willing to just, just, you know, accept what this relationship is with divine masculine there is changes that are happening they are there are changes that are hard to accept but it's kind of like everyone has no choice but to accept these changes it's like whether you like it or not it's things are going to change that's that's what i see here that's that's what i'm getting that energy it's like whether anyone likes it or not there is some sort of change here and this is what this karmic person was not ready for I feel divine masculine uh, there's there's something about their finances are a little bit shaky like there's something not they're not financially stable they they have to work on something. They work hard though. I see they work hard. But I do see something coming up for Divine Masculine here um, up ahead. Their hard work is not going to like, I mean, they are going to receive the fruits of their labor. It's just they don't see it right now. This might be a tough time for them at this point. But I do see that there is some kind of blessing that comes in. 
and it has to do with their hard work. They will get what they deserve. So say if this divine masculine works really hard somewhere and somebody recognizes their hard work, they may get promotion, they may get a raise, they may find another job, they may start a business or they may start to increase their profit or something like that. But I do see something with their abundance growing. So there's something here. There will be a wish fulfillment. This is following after this this end to a karmic cycle because I do see this happening for this divine masculine when they're in the single season. Divine masculine, they will be very careful with what they they choose, their decisions, their choices. It's like the moment that they realize that they have a new beginning, that they have like a kind of like a start over kind of thing. It's like they're going to take full advantage of this new opportunity to start fresh, to start new clean slate. I do see here interactions with family, being closer to family, loved ones, um, the divine God. So this divine masculine will start to pray. Their faith will start to grow even more. If this divine masculine stepped away from faith for some time, for whatever reason, this divine masculine will, will start to become more, more themselves again, like who they truly are. And I see that they are going to remove themselves from any kind of emotional attachments, things that are not um, of their path. So things that are not part of their divine path, things that are not good for them. So I see here emotionally detaching from things that were maybe habits or um, certain kind of patterns, something like that. Things that don't make them feel good, that make them feel sad, tired, or weak or some kind of um, emotional burden, something like that. So I see here, sad, tired, weak, emotional burden. These things are are very, I feel like this divine mask is very aware of now. So they're going to let go of things that make this divine mask and feel any of those feelings. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like this reading, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye.